For the Zip Sigil Network, Chad Welker here with head men's basketball coach John Gross. And coach, we haven't talked uh, really to each other on camera for at least six months, uh, but today's the first official day of practice. How did that go for you? Uh, just great to be out here. I mean, really a privilege to work with these guys. We have a long way to go, Chad, especially from a connectedness and a chemistry standpoint. But I like our guys. I like our talent. Uh, we've got some depth. We've got some guys that uh, were able to acquire a lot of experience last year, and we returned some veterans as well. And then I like our newcomers. They've been really coachable. Their attitude's been terrific. But uh, we've got a long way to go in terms of developing that chemistry on court. Uh, but it's just great to have the opportunity to do that and be in here working, um, you know, basically what will end up being about five days a week leading into our opener. Talk a little bit about the, uh, what, what the guys have been doing to get ready for a day like today, being that it's the first day. What have they been doing on their own? What have they been doing uh, maybe at home? What are some of the things that uh, have kept the guys engaged? How have you kept the guys engaged? How have you kept your coaches engaged? Yeah, obviously this is uh, uncharted territory, right? It's, uh, it's a unique time. So we did the best we could. I, I tell people I didn't even know what Zoom was you know, until the pandemic. And we used that quite a bit. We had weekly meetings and get togethers and we did a lot of different things. We dissected the last dance. Um, we had some social series uh, and what we called our racial reconciliation series speakers uh, that were great, very educational. I thought that was really good. We had guest uh, uh, speakers uh, that were coaches, uh, college coaches and uh, former players that I had coached uh, as, as speakers and so we tried to get as creative as we possibly could and then we uh, guys had to do it on their own due to rules but we tried we tried to do insanity or together um, I enjoyed that personally I thought it was great I know a lot of our players did it allowed us to keep in some type of shape before coming back and then once we've came back we've had about two months now of training where we've done a variety a lot of strength and conditioning, obviously, but when I say variety, a lot of individual work on court, group work, teamwork, um, different combinations and varieties of, of, of a variety of guys coming in and to accomplish what we needed to do to get ready for today. And then, Coach, uh, going back through film on some projects that I'm working on, uh, there was only four guys, maybe five guys, who really saw the court last year. So a lot of new faces. Can you uh, kind of share a little bit of some of the new faces around the men's basketball program? Yeah, it's really interesting because we have a decent amount of experience, but a lot of new faces. You know, obviously, um, you know, Christian returns, you know, uh, to us, which is huge. Uh, is a great leader for us great person and player. And uh, Cameron Reese, Ali, you know, Mike Dawson, Greg Tribble, all those guys gained valuable experience last year. They're not rookies anymore. Now their roles are gonna be different uh, as they've now evolved um, after a year, but those guys bring back a, a great deal of experience uh, for us. And then you have Brian Trimble and Macy Daly that'll be new faces, but they practiced all last year for us so you know they're not total newbies either so they have some experience not only with our program last year but also both of them have played in the ncaa tournament before at st john's and iowa respectively so even though there's a lot of new faces there's a lot of experience there we've just got to you know buy in to playing for each other learn the system at both ends of the floor how do we help each other get stops how do we help each other get our shot? And so that's that chemistry part I was alluding to earlier that, you know, we're not there yet. We got a long way to go with that. But, you know, I, I do like working with our group and, and uh, we'll continue to get better every day. Zips fans, it's going to be an interesting year. It's going to be a different year. So make sure you stay tuned with Zips Men's Basketball on Twitter. Follow GoZips.com for all the updates from schedulings to potential time changes to where you can watch the games, how you might be able to get into James A. Rhodes Arena. A lot of information for you, uh, so make sure you're following GoZips.com for all that information. For Coach John Gross, I'm Chad Welker for the Zips Digital Network. Have a great rest of your day, and as always, Go Zips!